It all starts by tearing off a piece from a roll of dead stock denim. I fold it up so that it's eight layers thick. And after I've measured out the pieces that I need, I can cut through all of those eight layers at once with this special fabric cutter. And after I've carefully weighed out the resin and the catalyst that will eventually make it go hard, I mix them together for a good couple of minutes. It's really important to make sure that the resin is properly mixed before I pour it onto the denim. I need to make sure that the resin completely saturates all the cotton fibres, I squeeze out the excess resin and rub that into the pieces that are still dry. I carefully layer four of the pieces on top of each other and place them onto a surface that they won't stick to. Two days later, the resin's properly hardened and the sheets of this composite material are ready for machining. A spinning cutting tool controlled by a computer precisely cuts away at the material until the parts that I've designed are remaining and I can remove them from the sheets using a chisel. I prepare other pieces of material that are laser cut and the laser also etches some text onto the surface and I rub gold ink into this etching to make it stand out. I like doing this. Then I snap these pieces out of the sheet and I use a knife to scrape off all that excess goldness that got all over the sides. Then pieces of spring steel that are half a millimetre thick get pushed into those machined pieces of denim and a laser cut piece gets glued over the top. Located nicely into a brass tip that was made to my design. Some more pieces of brass and steel and some more of those laser cut pieces get stuck together and then attached to the other parts and everything's squeezed together until it dries in this aluminium jig that I made. This assembled pair of temple arms can now be separated with scissors and sanded to shape and then put to one side for a while whilst I make the fronts of the sunglasses. I fill my wooden moulds with six layers of denim, but I also fold up some long pieces which I call sausages. This will create thicker and thinner parts of the material that will be important later. The moulds are clamped shut until the resin hardens, and when it has, I drill holes for securing the material to the machining bed, and I trim the sides on a bandsaw before undoing the bolts on my moulds and removing the material that's now ready for machining machining into the frame fronts. I use three different cutting tools and I cut three sheets at once using this plywood jig. Each sheet makes two frame fronts that are now ready for the main assembly jig. They're first prepared by inserting pieces of brass and steel wires that'll provide reinforcement in important areas. This is the stage that the frames and the temple arms get aligned. A small piece of that denim material gets glued to the temple arm. This will eventually be the closing surface of the hinge. The frame is positioned in the assembly jig and another laser cut piece is glued into place. The temple arms are located onto the frame and the assembly jig aligns them at the correct angles. The assembled frames are removed from the jig and those little pieces of denim around the hinge are trimmed. At the moment the sunglasses look ugly but I'll bring them to life through lots of hand finishing. I'll whiz through this section. I sand the frames through progressively finer stages and I texturize all the exposed brass surfaces to a matte finish. I give the frames a bubble bath before applying several coats of varnish. I do lots of polishing and other things too. And once I've done all that, I heat the frames. This makes the material malleable and it allows me to insert the lenses. Finished! That's pretty much how I turn denim into sunglasses, something I've been working on for more than 10 years now. I hope you liked my movie.